Okay, we got our two metals, copper, magnesium. Then we got our Epsom salt. Salt solitude. All right, then we got our blowtorch. Purpose of this is to get all the water molecules out. The reason why I'm using concrete blocks is, is that they're not conducting, but they're still being resistant. Get all the water molecules out. I believe that's it. Turn that off. Turn multimeter on. This could be hot, very hot, probably fragile too. But as you can see, 1.6 volts on the 2 volt scale. It's very interesting. All the water has been removed from it. Again, that's Epsom salt and salt substitute. There's no glue involved in this one. <clears throat> it's going down as it's cooled. So even though I remove all the water, it's still going strong. It's kind of cold out here too. So let's get that off. Let's see here. Hit it one more time. This is just proving that there's no water molecules at play here. This is an actual crystal cell. I'm using a blowtorch, so it's very direct heat. I'm starting to burn the material now. still hooked up and we will hook it back up and see what we're cooking there you go folks it's on a two volt scale <clears throat> it's obviously a higher voltage because it's been heated up so let's also Check the amps. Oop. Yeah. Two micro or two milliamps, one milliamp. And that's only because it's been heated up. So this cell is affected by heat. Turn that off. Yep. And as it's cooling down, the voltage is going down. Like I said, Epsom salt, salt substitute. There is no glue. And there you have it. This cell does not use water. 